Cancer, what's good, what's good, what's good? Lovely soul empress here coming to do your November love reading, okay? A uh, couple quick things. If you're looking for the extended for this reading, I will link it, uh, my Patreon, in the description box um, where you will find extended for all the 12 signs and you will also find daily and weekly content plus other things, okay? Uh, as well, I will link my um, website in the description box should you want to book a personal with me. You can do so over there. And also over there, you will find the last group ritual of the year um, that is coming up on November uh, 19th. I will be closing registration for that um, by the full moon. I mean, the new moon, which is November 4th. Okay, so uh, let's jump right in. Um, <clears throat> you didn't get a lot of cards in the pre-shuffle. You got the hermit, the lovers, and the and discipline. Okay, so um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Okay, or this could be saying that you've been single for a minute and someone is about to come in and you're going to have to choose, you know, what you want to do about that. Or maybe you're already seeing somebody and someone else comes in or that could be happening for the other person. But there's something here about um, balance and discipline. Okay, now in your Oracle cards, you got transformation. So something is changing in your situation or in your surroundings, okay? You got surrender, okay? So something that maybe you've been holding on to um, is time to let go of or there is something that you've been trying to achieve that spirit is saying to give to them, okay? You got self-acceptance, okay? So um, I'm hearing silly of me to think that I... Could ever have you for my guy, how I love you. Silly of me to think that you could ever know the things I do are all done for you. Right? So, um, it says, uh, you're just a lover out to score. And I know that I should be looking for more. What could it be in you I see? What could it be? Okay, so some of you, uh, there was somebody that made you feel less than worthy. Okay, and Spirit is saying to let that go. They did that to try to make it easier for them to have control of a situation, okay? And ease and grace, okay? Ease and grace. I feel like this is talking about once you come into that self-acceptance, it's as if everything aligns, okay? I also feel like not everything needs a response. Handle it with ease and grace. Okay, you also got here heart, home, compassion. So Spirit is saying, uh, are you as good to yourself as you are to others? Number 27, which uh, reduces to a nine. Okay, I'm feeling the energy of um, Jupiter. Okay, gifts, gifts you give to others, gifts you need to give to yourself. I'm also feeling the energy of... Um, self-love okay you got watchers transpersonal i feel like uh there are people right now who are getting their cues from you like it's as if they um you are which the standard they hold themselves by there's also people in your circle who are trying to figure out how you did something, okay? You also got dream thief, refusal of the call. Okay, this is also people around you, that negative person, those negative thoughts, they have been stealing from you. Energetically holding you back, maybe for fear of losing you. And then uh, don't allow them to stop you from stepping into your soul's path. And then you got horned cactus, resourcefulness. Okay?
I feel like the cactus can survive long periods without being watered. It contains its moisture within the plant. And, you know, we're all familiar with the spikes that a cactus has. And I feel like you may have been like this horned cactus, protecting yourself, or there's a need to. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> we're going to pull a Celtic spread. Spirit, can you show me the situation for my cancer game? Can you show me the blockage? Can you show me the blockage? Blockage, Spirit, please. One card. I knew they were going to give me two cards. All right. Uh, foundation, Spirit, please. One card. Thank you. Energy falling away, Spirit. One card. Energy falling away. Energy clowning. Energy coming in. How do they see themselves? How do others see them? How do others see them? What's in their hopes and fears? What's in their hopes and fears, please? What is the most likely outcome? And the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Okay. Oddly enough, the first card that came out was the Hermit, just like your pre-shuffle. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Virgo or you are on like a solo journey right now. You pulled back from other people. Spirit, why is this Hermit here? I'm getting transformative energy. The Emperor and the Hangman. For some of you, you pulled back from an Emperor and this has you stuck or the emperor pulled back from you and it has you stuck. You have three major arcana right in the root of it, okay? Uh, that could be Aquarius, Pisces, uh, Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Virgo. For a lot of you, you're on a solo journey that has to do with you becoming the emperor in your career, but you could have hit a blockage or something that makes you feel stuck. Now, in the blockage, you have the Knight of Cups and the Chariot, which is you. Okay, Spirit, why is this Knight of Cups here? For some of you, there's two people. Okay, there's a Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio on the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, you could have offered your cup. You could be the Knight of Cups offering your cup, but somebody didn't take it or they're taking too long or you feel breadcrumbed by this person. Now, you could be, uh, like I said, there could be two separate people. And maybe one person that you were dealing with is like breadcrumbing you, but it feels more solid in a way. Like this person is more um, stable. And then the Knight of Cups, um, if this isn't you, it feels like somebody that's popular and, um, you know, loving and congenial, charming, but you may not feel like it's a lot there, okay? The Chariot Spirit, why? So Temperance is here in reverse with the death card okay so um you could be pulling away from your past or you could have moved and not wanted to return or 
you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius who was in this lower energy, but this death card is Scorpio energy. I feel like this is death and transformation. I feel like you made a decision or you're trying to make a decision to leave something in the past that you feel that no longer serves you. It could have also felt abrupt with this chariot and temperance in reverse. It's like it wasn't divine timing or somebody did something rashly that they didn't take patience and this led to a death and transformation that you no longer want to be part of or you're struggling with. Justice at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Cups again. This person could be requesting justice, okay? Now you got Magician at the um, heart of the matter, or I should say at the foundation, and I feel like you're trying to reinvent yourself or a situation, Spirit. Why is this Magician here? I feel like you're trying to reinvent a situation with this Seven of Cups, okay? Maybe you're trying to reinvent how your life looks for right now. And this could be because of the Nine of Wands because you've been going through a hard time or, um, you know, somebody's trying to, it, it could also be somebody trying to come in, an Aries, maybe a Virgo, maybe a Gemini who is trying to come in and reinvent a situation with you, but you might feel like it has a lot of illusions and you have your nine of wands up. You're defensive or vice versa. Now you got the four cups as to the energy that's falling away. Something about a missed opportunity. So the Four of Cups is being clarified by the Two of Cups in reverse, okay? You could have felt like somebody was a soulmate and then they did something that made you feel like that wasn't, it wasn't, had, didn't have any more potential. Four of Wands, okay? You could be looking for your soulmate. You could have thought this person was your soulmate. You have the Hierophant here, the, the card of Taurus. You could have been dealing with a Taurus. But I feel like something happened here and this person could feel like they missed an opportunity with you or you feel like that and somebody didn't recognize the two of cups here they saw it in reverse and this is why this um situation either hit a stagnancy or it's coming to an end because it has something to do with about wanting commitment one wanting something more wanting that 11 11 card and i feel like there was something there that wouldn't allow it to come to its fruition now at the uh at what's crowning you have the ten of cups in reverse for some of you someone could have offered you the ten of cups and you felt like it wasn't real like it was a sham I don't know why I'm hearing that word sham, sham offer. Page of Pentacles, you could have felt like this person was too immature or, or they turned the Ten of Cups upside down with, with something that needed a life lesson. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords in reverse. You could have been stuck in your head about this, okay? But I feel like you're not anymore or soon you won't be. Because the sun is here, Carter Leo, and I feel like some type of illumination comes into you that that wasn't what was going to make you happy. Ten of Wands, because it was attached to a lot of burdens and there was a choice that needed to be made with these lovers card. They could have left you out in the cold or you could have taken yourself out of this situation because you felt like somebody was juggling. Okay, it could have been a King of Cups, but this also could be you, this King of Cups, holding back your emotions because you removed yourself from something even though you had love for it because of the Knight of Wands, because there was something that wasn't consistent, a person, place, or thing. Let's say if this was a job, you could have went looking for another job because you felt like there wasn't steady work or steady hours. If this was a, you know, a friendship, I'm hearing fair weather friend, okay? If this is a relationship 
you could have felt like this person was juggling other things or people and you felt like, you know, you didn't want to give your emotions over to it because they were acting like the Knight of Wands and they could have betrayed you in some way. Now you have the Emperor. This is what's coming in, in the near future. With the Ace of Cups. Now, if you were dealing with an emperor, somebody who maybe was controlling, looks good on paper, checks all the boxes, this person's discovering that they have love for you, but the judgment card is here. You, It, it could be too late for them to come back and fix something, or you're making a final decision in regards to this emperor. This emperor is wanting to collaborate with you. This could also be like somebody that you worked with in the past. There's some kind of assessment here and there's something that either you or them can't see and there goes that Knight of Cups again. Now, for some of you, you could have, uh, you know, caused this Emperor to see a situation. Like, let's say you had two people coming towards you and then the Emperor thought that you were dealing with somebody else. That could be the case. Maybe they didn't see that coming. And maybe that was the lesson they needed to learn with this justice card. But I feel like you're making a, a decision. And if this has to do with your career, you could be making a decision in the direction that you want to go to become the emperor and that it will be fulfilling to you. But there's a decision that is attached to it that you must make. And it has to be a final one. Okay, you got the four of pentacles as to how you see yourself. But anyway, um, you got the four of pentacles with the tower crossed. Some of you could have been holding on to a situation, hoping, hoping that the tower wouldn't strike. With the ace of swords, something was illuminated to you. You could have narrowly uh, escaped the tower. Also, intuitively, you could have held back from a situation because you knew a tower was going to strike. Like, you felt it intuitively. Ace of Swords is here, even though you couldn't see what it was, okay? And this person could be telling you they want to collaborate with you or you knew to avoid a collaboration because it was only solely based on passion. And then the Three of Cups, there was like a trio of people that would have... that would have you had that transpersonal watchers or some shit i feel like um these three people were waiting for this tower to strike for your downfall but it, it didn't happen seven of wands is how they see you they see you as above the competition or um you know healthy healthy defenses okay and i feel like it's because in the past somebody didn't give equally to you and so moving forward, there was like a lesson you learned in the last 12 months about reciprocity, okay? And I feel like in the past, you've been betrayed and you're not, you're not um, trying to go through that anymore. Now, as well, there is a hand creeping up from this um, chimney, okay? You had something about heart compassion, home compassion. I feel like you've cleared away a lot of it, but there's something that's within that needs to be cleared away too. Ace of Cups is in your fear. I mean, in your hopes and fears. It's like you're afraid of love. You're afraid of love from the Knight of Wands. Okay, this could have been somebody you were dealing with before, but I'm getting a pattern, a pattern of Knight of Wands. Okay, and your Queen of Pentacles material, you can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns heavily in your chart. But um, you're trying to um, build up the strength or build up barriers to not deal with Knight of Wands anymore. You want to put an end to that cycle. And I feel like that cycle could have been going on for seven years, seven wands, seven relationships, okay? Okay. 
Now, um, the most likely outcome is the Eight of Pentacles and the Star Spirit. Why? So you could have thrown yourself into work to go into, you know, to calmer waters. All right. Or all the hard work that you put in now is taking you to calmer waters. I also feel like you have the Ten of Cups here. I feel like it's some kind of fulfillment that's coming in. But I also feel like somebody could be saying they want to work on it with you. For most of you, this is a fulfillment that you found in another area. Star. Why is this star here? So Spirit taught you something about your inner strength with this um, strength card. That's Aquarius and Leo. That's the polarity. Okay, they are the axis signs of each other. I'm getting south and north nodes, so there was some type of balance that you came into through this situation. It taught you something. It taught you how to put head over heart, king of swords. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck is also the queen, uh, the king of swords. Spirit, why is this king of swords here? Can you show me? So it feels like the month of November is about choices. You've got the King of Swords here with the Two of Wands, okay? There's another decision that's coming in that, again, you're going to use the king, uh, the head over heart. Now, this King of Swords that's over here is from one deck, and this King of Swords over here is the feminine version. So I feel like there's some mirroring going on. The King of Wands is out here. Somebody's going to come rushing in. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay, they could be asking you to make a choice. You're very concentrated on the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Swords is here. You could have blocked this person or you haven't been paying them mind, but they're coming to say something to you. The Knight of Swords is here as well. Okay, somebody needs to speak a truth to you about a situation. They want another chance, but this Seven of Swords, it's a deception or it was a deception in the past, and they're telling you that they have regrets, but the devil is here, okay? That's your access sign. I feel like you don't want to go back, okay? Nine of Swords. I feel like it gives you even anxiety to think about it. Here's the Queen of Cups. This is you with the Queen of Pentacles. You're looking for a solid offer. There could have also been a Queen of Pentacles. Like, in other words, you could have been dealing with somebody and they could have told you or offered you something, but they really had a queen of pentacles, okay? Or you're the queen of cups and you've decided that you don't want like these transient relationships or something and you want like a solid offer, okay? Because the queen of pentacles is the quintessential spouse. So you could be looking for a commitment and you did have that uh, two of cups in reverse with the four of wands. That's the 11-11 card in the hierophant. So it's like you want something solid, Okay, the world is here. You're closing out all that shit. Spirit, can you show me what else is going on in this situation? I feel like something turned. No? Okay. What's going on in this situation? Anything else we need to know? Yeah, like I said, you have thrown yourself into your career or some aspect of trying to, you know, look at which way you're going to go. Anything else, Spirit? Okay, so you got occupation, marriage, imprisonment, and high honor. All right, so I feel like um, I was redoing my desk so I have everything uh, a little bit moved around i feel like you threw yourself into work like i said or there's something about reshifting or restructuring your occupation spirit why roller coaster highest high adrenaline rush if this was a relationship okay it's like you threw yourself into work because that the um the highs and low of the relationship were making you crazy. You just shut it out and you moved on, okay? Some of you could have worked with this person. Marriage spirit, why? For many of you, you found out this person was marriage or that uh, marriage, that they were married. Or uh, you realized that they weren't going to give you marriage. Okay, there's something here about a karmic situation. But I feel like um, 
this situation could have made you happy, but then there was something that you discovered. There's receipts, proof. Now, for others of you, you might not have even known that this person was in some type of commitment. Everything could have been going fine, and then somebody found something and they ghosted you. That could have happened as well. Some of you found out that this person was married and you ghosted them and they're crushed, okay? Imprisonment. I feel like I saw something turned over. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Let me get one more spirit. For some of you, okay, you have imprisonment card. This person could have went uh, ghost and you could find out that they were in jail, okay? For others of you, it's like they're, they're um, in denial or you're in denial about how much you really wanted this situation and like you've closed yourself in or they've closed themselves in, but it, it feels very restrictive. And I feel like that's because you blocked them. High honor spirit. You got high honor with meeting, okay? I feel like you're going to meet somebody, okay? I did say that uh, for a lot of you, there was two people coming in. But I feel like soon you're going to meet somebody, okay, and, and there's going to be some uh, potential there. And I feel like I said this in the beginning, that you could have been with one person, somebody else is coming in. Or there's two choices. One person you're just going to block and the other person is going to be um, like a better choice, right? And you got drastic, extreme, harsh cut off. It's like you cut off something, somebody, okay, for a choice that's soulmate. This may even involve a move, okay? I feel like this other person thing, whatever, they're going to try to come in and in a different way. And it's more about retaliation. Okay. Also, uh, check your passwords. You have access granted. I feel like this person who you're rejecting would love to start some fucking drama because you're very quiet. You've got the uh, drama queen here and then you're quiet. So it's like they want to get back at you. If you could like this for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Spirit, can you show me what else, uh, what they should be working on? Okay, Spirit said, don't doubt yourself. Okay, and then this gratitude, this is about that tower that you narrowly escaped. Spirit, can you show me um, most likely outcome for these two in the month of November? Okay, and also after this, I am going to head over to the extended. We're going to look at it from your person's perspective. We're going to look at what they feel for you, what their true intentions is for you, what they cannot see, what they are currently experiencing, and the most likely outcome from their perspective, okay? So you have You Deserve Love, Retreat, and Reconciliation. Okay, so let's take a look. You deserve love, spirit. Happy family. I feel like you decided that this person wasn't offering you what you wanted. And you decided that, you know, you're worth the wait. Okay, retreat, spirit. Somebody could have retreated for you, or treated from you, but they're offering you a date night because they want you to take their hand. Also, you could be retreating from somebody else because you got another offer, okay? A better offer with uncharted territories, new level of love, okay? This could be somebody from your childhood, okay? Or they make you feel like that new young love. True love and soulmates is here, okay? I feel like insecurities is speaking about this other person. And you have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck, spirit. Why is that? Because when this new person comes in, this old person, maybe they discover it in some way, but they're going to try to come in and an argument is going to ensue. 
Okay, so we're going to head over to the extended and take a look at it from the other perspective and see if we can find out more. If you're interested in that, uh, follow the link in the description box over to the Patreon. Um, if this is where we part ways, I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer who felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.